Okay, I think all these things you said, strategy, technique, they are spirit, situation, uh, they, they, are, they are right, okay? Um, what I tried to create, it was uh, trying to, to put a little bit of order in all the information I <coughs> gathered during the really 20 years of training and try to structure a, a way, a map to describe fight. Okay, this is what the pyramid will be. And, and the reason is because when we have a clear structure of what we, how the fight structure itself in the its components and me mechanism and dynamics, we can really build most effective training. Because we have a map on how the what the fight is, the fight is. Okay, I see many people they just put everything on the same level. While my idea is that there are different levels when we speak about the fight. First thing, first level is the technique. Okay, technique are. Basic are the basics of your sport, is what you can do, is the kick and the punch, okay? Technique is the base of the pyramid. Second level is distance. Especially in the, in the standing fights, distance is the space between you and the opponent. Okay, we use a technique to cover a distance. The third step, the third element is time. I'm not saying nothing different of the things you already say, you already know. This is obvious. But the point is to try to give you a map that makes difference of the different aspects of the fight, then create training method and exercise for different level of the pyramid first level is situation a lot of a lot of people they spoke about situation is basically we have a technique we use the technique to cover a distance a space between you and the opponent we do this at the right time before after or during the execution of other fights and there is a time for a, for a certain technique but what we do with all these three things is solving problems when we fight the main thing is that it's my mind against your mind is my idea it's you are giving me a problem I'm trying to solve a problem okay if this game is a game where we play the technique, the distance, the time to solve a problem. You are defending with a psyche. I need to find the right technique at the right distance, at the right time to face your psychic. You are kicking and I want to get in your kick. I'm working on the time to solve a problem. Okay? The point is that fight at a higher level became a, prob a, a, a problem approach uh, situation. We use technique, distance and, and, and time to solve problems. And at the highest level is rhythm. Rhythm is the communication we have we, between me and, and the, my opponent during the fight is the judges that give you the point or don't give you the point here is the dance here we solve problems here we move in a state of flow where everything is connected and instead of just solving problems for example we take in account also this past experience of the fight we have with that fight it's that there might be a problem that is not something that it concerns the presence of the fight but maybe the past I know even if I didn't even fake that if I do that he's gonna do something else and I don't need to test it because I know the guy I'm in a communication with him 
And at the highest level, this becomes like a flow. Okay? Why we use this pyramid is because we can, first of all, structure training. To, we can structure training considering what the different aspects we are training. If we, can, we are able to break down the fight in different aspects, we can train these different aspects. Okay, and second, then first, first, first reason is to structure training. Second is to analyze mistakes. Sometimes you make a mistake during the fight, and you say, "Okay, you are, you are doing uh, psychic. Your psyche is, is wrong." What does it mean? Your psyche is wrong. Is the technique is wrong? Is the distance is wrong? You did it at the wrong time. That was the wrong solution. Okay, you know, we try to have a map to, with the pyramid to analyze, to analyze the fight, to gain the fight and to be able then to find the mistakes, structure the training, use a training method for each different level of the fight and then also to analyze our level of evolution. You, I, I participate to a lot of seminars, I train with a lot of people, even during class, and I see sometimes they were working to this level, okay, or to this level with beginners. Okay, I'm not saying it is wrong, I'm saying that you need to know that you are speaking at, at a high level of the complexity of the fights. Because if I speak with you, I need to know that to get in the situation and to be able to solve the situation, you need to have these components. If I jump in the rhythm, I mean, many people they teach you, you know, how to fake, how to break the rhythm. But basically, the rhythm of the fight is something that is really complex to understand. If I try, if I teach you that, the best you can do is to imitate. You imitate my movement of breaking the rhythm. Why you don't understand actually? Because this is really a rooted con concept. I need to understand, I need to be part of the fight to break the rhythm of the fight. And people, they, are not, they don't have much experience. For them, it's really complex to understand that what they do is just they to imitate the movement and then they attack and then they got as a psychic. Okay? Then the, the pyramid is just a map that breaks down the elements that compose, that makes the fight in different level. Basic is the technique, what will you do? Second is distance, the space, third is the time, third is the situation, when you fight to solve problem, third is the rhythm of the fight, it's the communication I have with him, it's the silence communication. I know that even if we stand, there is a lot that is going on. Even if there is no distance, if there is technique, there is no time, even if we are there, there is a war. This is what I call the rhythm. The rhythm is our speaking, our dialogue in the fight. 